hi everybody it's carol welcome back to my channel and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to have um a play with these with um packaging from amazon and i just love using my tim holtz paper dolls on this paper not paper it's the the cardboard corrugated cardboard and what i do is i just decorate it you know decorate it with uh, whatever I have and I brought out a few pieces of of the cardboard and also some Tim Holtz people that I just kind of gathered for the height and you know and then I'll just go from there and what I want to do is um, well how I started this here is I had the the cardboard and it looked like this and I just took pieces and tore tore it off and it gives you this effect which I think it's just gorgeous and what I'm gonna do is um, I am going to use my I'm gonna bring in some my stencil and I could do this with uh, I can use either, um, oh, what do you call it? Oh, I can use either paints or, you know, just to put a design down on here first. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my ink, my distressed ink. And I'm just going to, you know, use this stencil and just get like a little bit of a design on there if you see what I mean and just to have a base so that it's not just the cardboard underneath you know um I don't, I'm not sure if I made any um any cardboard with this but this is a, a stamp that I have not a stamp. Oh, stencil. Okay, let's see. So this, uh, you know, I have some kind of design on here. And then what I'll do is I'm just going to ink the edges. just to give it that really vintage appeal to it because after all I am using Tim Holtz paper and this base is so organic and raw that it's just so pretty. So let's see what else I have. I do have some music paper that I could bring in some music paper and some book pages. Let's say get some inking on here. So I'm just gonna ink it right on top of the cardboard here. And let's see. Let me get my people down here. And I may even use my um, paint sticks. These look like they're upside down. Nope, this is it, because that's how the numbers go. So we're going to do this. Just to have a different, different um, appeal to it. What happened to my book pages? Oh my goodness. Oh, here they are.
just want to get this straight edge off there. Let me move the people away. I'm just going to glue this down. Okay, let's see what I'm going to use. My glue stick. And I brought along some of my my um, paint sticks. I have red and I have gold. So let's see. This here I have. The first one I made is I have gold on it. I don't know if you could see it glistening. And I didn't decorate it too much. But I did have a lot of play with different colors on there that you really can't even see. It never turned out. I have, um, oh, I have, um, I have green on here. I have yellow on here. I didn't put any red, but I basically did the green because of the green and the flower here. And it's, it's looking like it was sitting in, like in the forest for a little bit. Okay, so let's see if I put these people on here. Let's see, I do have some labels and Let's see if I have some floral pieces to go in here. You know, I'm just going to take these two off. And let's see if... I don't know that these flowers go with this because this is kind of like a... Okay. Let me get... Oh, I can get a dictionary, bring in some dictionary words here. Okay, let's see if we put... Okay, that looks nice. I have the dictionary word over there. Here's something the size that I'm looking for. Okay, I am going to stick these down here. Let's see if I put him there. 
oops, and the lady over here. And I could put some washi tape. I'm going to bring some red into here just to give it. Okay, she's going to go down first. So if I put some of that red washi tape in there. Then maybe I can use my red my red paint stick with some gold paint stick. I'm just thinking out loud here. Most of the people that I have with the Tim Holtz people, it's all in the winter. They're all wintery people. So you'll see them with fur coats and a lot of children that are sledding and, well, families that are sledding and whatnot. I can put that one right there or just use half of it over here. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to use half of it. So there's something going on up there so it's not just this brown cardboard. I need to wipe this glue off, off of me. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of the red on the edges first. Oh wait, was I thinking of putting... Just a little dab of I'm just going to take that part off just to bring in some color Just a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's that's looking better. Have a little bit of color in here. Now I'm just going to bring a little bit of red on the side, just a little bit, because. I do want to outline this with the gold. I don't even know if you can see the red. Now what some people do is these paint sticks, they wet them. They wet them with water, and I think it's supposed to go on better or make it creamier. I don't know. I always forget to have water with me when I'm using these, and I never did give it a play with, with putting water on it. But I love, 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 love putting gold, these gold paint sticks on this kind of cardboard. I like it on a lot of things, but I really like, love it on here. 
I just think it it just goes so well and adds so much. Okay. I'm liking the way that turned out. Wipe this glue off. Okay, so this one here we're going to put a lot away over there. Now I do have these little these little kids that are sledding. Looks like brother and sister. So, you know, like I said, I tore some of the paper off there. And this is what it started out as. And this is what it's ending as. You know what? I'm going to do red. I do have my red ink. And I will... I'll bring this one, this hair out. I think I'm going to... This is going to be... Just trying to see what kind of outline I want to have on here. Okay. Oh, that came out nice. Let me just get this corner up here. Now, of course, the picture is probably going to going to cover up unless I just keep the kids on here. Could do that, and I could put a little. I do have a little bit of lace here. Oh, that may look like snow. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I'm just going to put it down because I think it'll be pretty. I'm going to put it on this way. Um, let's see how this turns out. Okay. So we'll take these kids. them up there and this is this is a dictionary word that says family and it is outlined in red I'm just going to stick it down. I'm going to use the... Well, let me get these kids on here first. And I'm going to put them on with this here. I'm not sure what glue I used for the other people. Oh, this looks so pretty. Now, of course, you know, this ki these kind of 
toppers they're hard to you really can't use them well i guess you could you could do whatever but i think it looks best as a topper like on the front of a journal opposed to being on a page because it would be so bulky to be on a page i'm just trying to think whether i want to this is red or put this Put that on there. I think I'll do the red and then I'll put this other smaller one up there. I think it'll be fine. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks nice. Yeah, you know what? And it really doesn't need much of anything else. And I think I'm just going to do the gold. I just love how these are outlined with the paint sticks. I wonder if I need anything on here or if that looks just fine the way it is. I think it looks good the way it is, but I think I will just put a little bit of red, red ink on here. Okay, so we'll put that aside and then I have Oh, I have, a, looks like a, a mom with her two little kitties. Okay, so here we go again. So I'm just trying to think what I have here. It is kind of wintry. I have... I do have this here that I could put down because I love these flowers, but I don't know that it really goes on. I don't know if these are winter flowers or spring flowers or, or what kind of flowers they are. They look like I don't know, but you know what? I'm going to use them. I just have to decide which way. Do I want to put the people on there or put them down on the side? Going along the... upside down. And of course, the glue, the glue stick really works well with this. So I'm just going to, I have to find that the part of the board that has this here underneath it opposed to the, um, the open cardboard because it just has very little to stick to. That's fine. I 
I'm going to bring that wallpaper in, or the um, the washi tape in over there. Okay, Mama, you're going to go down here. Okay, we'll put her there. And the kids over here. Oh, that looks pretty. Oops. And I do have, I think I have a, a little snippet of, of a ruffle here that maybe I can bring in just on the top over there. I have a bigger one. Okay, let's see. I mean, a longer, a longer piece of ruffle. I could put right on the top. Just to give it, a, just to make it a little bit different. I do have, I know after I cut it, then I'm going to, snip it there. I think I like that. I can just put it right on the top over here. It looks very raggedy. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go for that. strings although it depends on the project whether I like the strings or not it's a little gluey and I wonder if this calls for like a big white button on there I know I have Oops. Okay. I think I like that button on there. I wonder if I put a little bit of... Oh, which is the... Uh... Yeah, I like that. I think that looks nice. Now I can bring in that red washi tape right along the side, but I think what I'm going to do is Okay, I think I'm just going to tear it in lengthwise in half. So it's not so wide. Yeah, I think that looks nice.
Okay, I'm liking this. I am liking this and we'll do gold again. I guess all of these little toppers are going to be edged in gold. You know, because like I said, I really, I think it brings a lot to the toppers, especially this kind of material with the cardboard, the corrugated cardboard. I think it looks so good. Okay. Wow, and I'm really glad that I got through all of these because I wasn't sure. I thought I was so ambitious that I wouldn't be able to finish them. But let's see, I do have one more that I brought in. And this looks like two brothers that are they're going to play in the snow. So let's see, what can I do with these little guys? We can give them some dictionary page. Put them there. And oh, let's see. I have, um, where's my Tim Holtz paper? There we go. put the butterflies on there or else I can use this here. I think I'm going to do the butterflies because it'll bring a different color out here. I'm just going to I'm just going to glue this down. Okay, make sure I get all of this on here. And the butterflies I'm going to keep toward the edge. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, and let's see. What kind of words I can bring out. I'm going to ink this up. Unless I use a different word. Beautiful happiness.
okay, that's looking good. And I do have these oval tags. Let's see what I can bring out with these. These are just stamped with with script on here. All these different size, all these different sizes. We have circles, we have rectangles, we have ovals. This I'm just gonna cut a little bit more of this white off here. down here. So far so good. I'm not struggling with decorating, you know, because there's really not too much that you could put on here or that I would want to put on here because of of the uh, because it's cardboard you know the corrugated cardboard so the decorating is a little it's not that crazy for me and I think I want to put just a little bit of this washi tape over here Let me get these guys glued down. Yeah, these would make really awesome toppers for journals or also for the inside of journal covers behind the front or back page. I think these are really look good on there. Yeah, so I think I am done with this. Just gonna do my, I think I'm gonna put red down first and then we'll do a little bit of the gold just to make it a little different because I don't have Oh, I just want to put a little bit. I went overboard. The gold will tone this down. There, that looks better. loving this gold. this looks. I hope you could see how gorgeous this this gold 
the gold paints the looks on here. So yeah, I'm really thrilled that, that I was able to do all these toppers. You know, because sometimes when you're decorating, or like if I'm decorating, I start struggling with the decorations on how I should do something. And, but these really went good. They went really good for me. And I only got four of them done, but I had this one that I started with. And this one here is so pretty. I like that. This ruffle on there. And I'm wondering if I could stick a ruffle on this one. I don't think it needs it though. Yeah, I think it's pretty. Yeah, these are great. So anyway, thank you so much for coming along and joining me. And um, give this a try because these are really fun. I love working with the corrugated cardboard. And I'm going to try and figure out a way how to make, um, I don't know, like a, a small journal with only corrugated cardboard. You know, where there's a will, there's a way, right? I just love working with it. So I have to figure something out. Um, yeah. So anyway, you have a good rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.